All of my SQL VMs only run SQL Server. How do I know when it's time to turn on lock pages in memory? How can I know that it's safe? So what you want to do is you want to monitor, there's a perfmon counter called available megabytes, memory available megabytes, which will tell you at the operating system level how much memory is free. You want to start by looking at that and make sure that you have plenty of memory available at all times. Um, I, and when I say at all times, I would check it for weeks. Because I've seen so many issues where people will periodically remote desktop into the SQL Server and they'll run some application that's a memory hog. They will drag and drop files from one place to another. They'll be like, oh, I just need to copy this backup out, not understanding how Windows uses memory for file caching. So if you can guarantee that you have plenty of available memory and at the same time, as long as you're adding perfmon counters to monitor, I would also monitor the perfmon counter for remote desktop sessions open. And anytime that number is anything other than zero, you want to start asking questions about why that is. Because uh, if, if someone's remote desktoping in, I guarantee you they're running applications that use memory. So if you've got plenty of available memory over the course of weeks and no one's remote desktoping into the SQL Server, then you could turn on lock pages in memory. Why? Why? Because if you have lots of available memory and no one's remote desktoping in, the pages are in memory already. So what good does it do you?